does that. I love that about her. They have some great fighters. John Long, Street King from Minnesota. Yeah. All those, you know, there's some good the the, the, uh, the they, they, they really produce some great fighters out there. Yeah, they really Minneapolis was a big fight down. They really do, like. Here we yeah. go. This is her, like you said. I was talking. They got Ryan Murray and I think Caitlin Young were her coaches. Yeah. Oh, they were under great coaches. Corley's coming out of there. Yeah. Here she comes. Branco coming up to the ring. Of course, now, she told me that after she got done with her weigh-ins on yesterday, she was going to her favorite spot. It was the Olive Garden. <laughs> <laughs> it's always a restaurant, yeah. <laughs> yeah gotta get to get, uh, Olive that Garden in. And uh, she says she understands fully what she is getting in the ring with tonight. But that is not going to stop her from executing what she plans on executing in the ring tonight. Because at the end of the day, she wants to earn the respect of this crowd and take home that United States title. Star, auto body repair experts, Red Corner. Please welcome Elizabeth Helton. Elizabeth Helton, her wife was in the ring earlier sporting a title. She wants to bring one home from this stand-up fight series as well. As he takes a very slow, casual pace down the stairs and around the ring for what will be undoubtedly a match you'll want to remember tonight. It's the latest. I'm, I'm actually believing you're going to have a, a boxer against a kicker. That's basically it, yeah. She has a lot of big boxing history in the background. Though she was competing in Golden Gloves. Liz got some great hands. Yeah. And she uses the angles really well. She got STL Boxing Academy, Reggie Thomas, a great coach. I yeah, started with him as well. I love him. And I love JP as well, Wolves Den, head coach. Great. Both of these ladies, very active, very accomplished in their own way. Ladies and gentlemen, this is going to Tonight, be Tonight, somebody will be called belt. champion. This bout is for the vacant IKF USA Unified Kickboxing Title. Fighting out of the Third Coast T-Shirts Blue Corner. She weighed in at 126.4 pounds and stands at 5 feet 8 inches tall. She is making her Stand Up Fight Series debut. She is trained by the Striking Institute. Fighting out of St. Paul, Minnesota, please welcome Teresa Branco! And this crowd is not going to cheer for her. <laughs> Fighting out like of they the are car for star this auto individual body repair experts, Red Corner. She weighed in at 127 pounds and stands at 5 feet 6 inches tall. She has a fight record of 12 wins and 2 losses with 2 of her wins by way of knockout. She is trained by the Wolf's Den in St. Louis Boxing Academy. Fighting out of Florissant, Missouri. Please welcome Elizabeth Hilton. So, so Jim, you mentioned you've been there you before. Guys understand the rules. Five rules. I went to the bottom of me. How do we tell it? Touch gloves. Let's get it. It's for the United States title. What's it like coming in? No one cheering for you. Oh, that's that's the best thing. <laughs> <laughs> nobody, nobody expects anything. Here we go. Round number one. Switch kick to start.
spinning back face. That, that, that's your thing, there, isn't it, Jim? <laughs> yeah, that, that's it. I there we go. Needs to put a little more power into that, though. Trying to use those long teeth. Long She's trying to use those long legs, for sure. Liz stepped right in there and pulled the trigger. Yeah. Ooh. Teresa, Teresa pulls yep. the trigger back. She's coming forward with that pressure. She's going to have to speed those kicks up. They can't be out there that long. Round number one for the U.S. women's title. Big right. Will flurry from Teresa Branco. Right over the head. Okay. Hadn't quite found a range yet, Jim. Nope, they're looking there. She's the, the but um, they're looking. They're, they're just checking her distance. It's out, yeah, they're just finding out where they're at. Scheduled for five rounds. We calls for the break. Bowie calls for the break as they were clinched up there. Teresa looks like she's a, she's breathing a little bit heavy for her first round start here. Yeah. She threw a lot of head kicks, I didn't want to say, but I was a little oh, maybe she still come forward with that pressure. Yeah, I'm a little with you. I'm with you. I think it was some wasted shots there. Yeah. How important is it for every motion to be uh, valuable or or? Well, not account. every motion, but it's necessary for a happiness to make a win. Under 10 yeah. to go, round number one. Big shots in the first round from Teresa. That's what she... In the round number one. Yeah, she's able to keep her, keep her in bay, you know. She's got Teresa backing up. Take a look back here at some of the action. Yeah. See, early on here, she caught her, but the guard was up, and, and it, yeah. it seems as if Franco may have not had a, not had a lot on those. No, I don't think there's any power to him at all. No. Maybe, I went, yeah, go ahead. Maybe she just tried to pick her target, but you know, like she's gonna have to pick up the, she's gonna pick up the pace with like, but, you know, but, kicks are great, yeah. but now if, if you're if you're the judge and you're watching this, I mean, three clips and three active movements from Teresa uh, Branco, and uh, no real strong response from Liz. Yeah, but they're all she's. Just, the thing is, they're all, the judges are also capable of deciding you know, how much how much power they put into it and how much effort is into it, so, and how much it hurts the opponent. Round number two, here we go. You gotta come out here. Yeah, they just hit some more angles here and yeah. bouncing around, yeah. Yeah, they need some lateral movement going on, for sure. Sitting right in front of each other. See, I expected Teresa to throw on her feet. But they, she don't seem effective with them. Yeah. yeah. Helton yeah. trying to create some angles yeah. a little bit now. There we go, yeah. But again, Teresa Branco using her uh, her her length. To try and keep uh, Liz back off yeah. of her. But just, you know, it just seems like there's just not power to it. Yeah, I would think she would do better. I mean, the roundhouses are kind of, I guess you could say, landing, but teeth to the body, I think, at least push kicks, maybe straight center. Yeah. I feel like that was a little harder run. I used to, the round kicks, if they score, they're not scoring much power, I can see. Elizabeth's got a little more movement than the round. She's doing a little more lateral movement. Yeah. Teresa continuing to add the pressure, though. Deep into round number two. Coming to you from the Casa Loma Ballroom in St. Louis, Missouri. Oh, nice. No question mark here, there. It's like Helton's letting Teresa kind of grind herself out. Yeah, I think Elizabeth's just kind of like feeling it out slow. She's got three more rounds to yeah. find her spot. Yeah, I'm interested to see how it goes with Teresa coming out, what I believe to be kind of hard. Yeah. In the round number two, sponsored in part. You might have an endless, endless, endless gas tank, maybe. By Car Star. <laughs> we'll They're gas already, aren't yeah. they? 
Well, you got three more rounds. <laughs> three more rounds. Who do you guys have leading so far? Hard for me. I got it over Z, maybe one on one. I think Eliz is doing a lo doing enough a little bit. I just don't I know mean, if he's if just putting enough. Yeah, like, I always talk about damage. This isn't yeah. Waco, this isn't a tournament style. Yeah. Yeah, I don't feel there's damage being done by uh, three sides. You know, I think that the is probably dictating the more of the points that are affected. Yeah. I think Bruce but, put it on the presser. But I actually do, uh, I think it right now is a one and one. Okay. So, so. You believe perhaps Helton may be finding a mark, and these next three rounds is where she's going to come alive and take advantage of of, of Teresa Branco. Yo. Round number three. Here we go. And here comes and Helton. I think that was her thought. Yep. Yeah, yeah this right is the way she came out. A lot more bounce to Hilton yeah. now. Okay. Finding the angles. Well, Teresa's throwing a nice oh, right hand. Yeah, yeah I mean, straight down the middle. She's picking up her pace on the right hand, but she's, she's extending it to a little bit too much. Ooh, just missed. No, that did that, that one caught there the target. Go. Working the body a little bit this time from Hilton. The clinch seems to be favoring Teresa Branco. I um I like to think, I see that I mean yeah. she's, she's dominating with that right hand and I didn't think uh, Elizabeth would actually just you know let this go she's dropping the left hand too much and even at uh, at short at, with extending that right hand the way that Teresa is she she is losing a little power a lot of power in it. yeah. Coming to you from the Casa Loma Ballroom in St. Louis, Missouri. Stand-up fight series number three, Night of Champions. You're watching the United States women's title bout here. Elizabeth Helton against Teresa Pranko. Bowie says, that, nope, you got to keep going. She thought her head was pushed yep. down, but referee said no. Always protect yourself. At all times. Yep. Ten seconds to go, round number three. Hilton came out aggressive, but Teresa Branco may have scored the most. I, I agree. I yeah, agree. I agree as well. Landed some good right hands in that round. Go back, take a look at some of the action from this round number three for the U.S. women's title. Yeah, that's yeah, really Br nice on the Branco's fight. just been tagging her. Look yeah, at her. That's two, two in a row. Helton still had good bounce and movement, but uh, Teresa Branco was was coming forward, she, and, and throughout all three rounds, she's been bringing forward pressure all throughout the rounds. She has been, she has been. I, 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 didn't, I was questioning the power she's putting into it, but she seems like she's actually getting the distance covered a little bit more. Yeah. yeah. I, I think she's start, starting to feel out um, Liz's movement pattern. Yeah. Yes, sir. And meeting her at the crossroads, if you will. Yeah, catching that timing really well. Round number four, here we go! Here comes more boxing from go. Hilton. Branco said, let's go in the clinch. Well, he calls for the break. Fourth round, scheduled for five. Elizabeth's gonna, she's gonna have to turn loose a little bit. She, yeah. she, she can't not keep backing up like this. She's, gonna, she's just, she's working lateral, but she's backing up yeah, all the time Yeah, she's backing up the lateral and getting caught up she's, on the end of some of the punches. She, yeah, she's moving out. And you gotta give Branco credit for keeping her guard up and not letting it down. Yeah, she's yep. Almost got you a spinning back fence there. 
feel like she's slowing down, I but I don't know if it's because Teresa's slowing down because she's tired or she's trying to pick her pace. Um, you know, I thought she was gassed early, but I think that maybe she might be picking up her pace. Yeah. But I, I think Teresa's got to be careful with how far she's extending that arm out there because when yeah. she does yeah. that, it, she's it's having a, a time recoiling back. That's what Jim talked about earlier, overextending it, that's what you yeah. said. Yeah. yeah. You get caught. And that could be the end. Yes, it, when you reach out too far, <laughs> leaves everything open. It's for the U.S. title. Uh, she's doing much Franco. better picking it up now, I feel like. Yeah. Angle out, strike. Ten seconds to go, fourth round. I think Hilton's having a having some issues dealing with the length of Teresa Branco. I think she are. She is. Yeah, she she even, is. even though Teresa's reaching, she's still having problems getting through it. Yeah. Matter of fact, she's probably fighting it a little smart because if she did run into that, it could be more devastating than what Teresa probably is throwing out there. Yeah. And I think that was like the first or second round when she maybe was coming back into it. It was maybe she tasted it, like you said. I agree. It's now in that fifth round, you either got to decide whether you're going to eat it or not to give one, though, because it's getting yeah. close. <laughs> Sometimes you just got to take one to get one. That's right, do. that's right. And I feel like Kaylin Young in the corner of her, she fought on PFL. She actually fought Misha Tate back in the day, too, in the UFC. So yeah. Kaylin Young, I know being a tough person, tough coach herself, yeah. I know she's giving her some good corner tips right now. So in this fifth and final round, what must Helton do in order to turn the tide here? Yes. I need you guys hide. Let these ladies hear you. Who's going to get it? I think she's going to have to put the pressure on her. She's going to have to be a lot more aggressive than she has been in the previous two rounds or four rounds. Here comes round number five, and Helton just pounding, tap, tapping away yeah. in the clinch. And Bowie calls for the break. But Branco just oh. swinging for the fences. I think uh, Teresa's going to get a little bit of better on her distance. I think Helton knows she's got to bring it. Yeah, she's trying to come in, bounce in and out. Branco shuts down the spinning pack fist. <laughs> Fifth and final round. United States women's title on the line. Here comes Hilton with a little flurry. Nice flurry. But Branco returns to favor with her own. Yeah, Br Teresa loves that clinch. Yeah, we got a yeah. little gas going on there. Yeah, I can see. Like, she wants to just come here and hug. Let me give hey, you a knee. <laughs> hey, sometimes if it's tired, you got to hold on. Yeah. And she's honestly been doing better work in the clinch in this fight anyway. Oh, nice jab nice from Hilton. Come on, let yeah, it Let's go. Good work. Let's go. Body shot from Liz. Branco definitely utilized her length throughout this bout. Leaving Fifth it out and there. final round. Leaving it out there. Sponsored by Car Star Auto Body Experts. This is why you say you like kickboxing better than boxing, right? It's a little bit of nonstop action yeah, right there. <laughs> you got to do both. You got to do both. <laughs> you got to be 50-50. If yeah. you're a one-dimensional fighter, you are not going to win. Yes, sir. Final round comes to a close. Great fight. Bruce did a great job. They did. left it out there. They were both in there. I thought, you know, I thought they looked a little gassed, but you know yeah. what? Yeah. I mean, they pulled it through. Grant Branco, like you said, looked winded in the first round. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but but somehow or another, she she just kept swinging and yeah. bringing forward pressure on Helton, which uh, honestly I think prevented Helton from actually getting settled in her game that she wanted to play tonight. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I think she was. I think she just needed more time. Uh, could, but she couldn't figure out how to get past Teresa's. Yeah. You know, there, there, there was a lot of. There was a lot of reach just in Those broomsticks that she's trying to go by. <laughs> yeah. Get ready.
ready to crown ourselves a brand new IKF United States Women's Champion. You've got to give it to both these ladies. They came out to fight and they did. Gave it their all. And it was, a, it was a great contest yes. between the two. It really was a clash of two different styles because I think Hilton much rather preferred to punch. Yes. But Branco met her and shut down the punching with the clinching and the knees and just made it a real gritty, up-close technical yep. fight. Yep, yeah, she, just, she either kept the distance or she was, uh, she was tying her up. Yep. Yeah. And that's smart. Yeah. I mean, exactly I, is. I mean, your game plan. Yeah. yeah. I mean, no use. It. I mean, if, if you and I are getting in a fight, and I know you like to punch my daylights out. Guess what I'm not going to do? I'm not going to get close enough for you to punch my daylights yeah, out. Yeah, stay the distance or stay in too close. Yeah. Oh, he's comfortable with punching. Well, let me get right in there with him. <laughs> Let's get us an official winner. Glenn's always got the most amazing suits on. All right. Make some notes to these ladies. Ladies and gentlemen, Judge David Hewitt scores the bout 49 to 46 for Branco. Judge Robinville scores the bout 48 to 47 for Helton. Okay. Judge Gage Brown scores the bout 48 to 47. Your winner by split decision out of the red corner. Unified Kickboxing Champion, Elizabeth Hilton! I'll, I'll shut my mouth. I will shut my mouth. <laughs> me too. I like it with my mouth. I like me so. That's why I commented. I think we're, we're just going to have to go with that. Yeah. <laughs> that was a